from this. To this. The video is disturbing. Just released surveillance footage from 2016 showing what appears to be Diddy violently assaulting then girlfriend Cassie. Sean Diddy Combs, a major figure in the music world, has seen both incredible success and serious challenges. I'm a legend, baby, for a whole bunch of things. Known for his influential record label, Bad Boy Entertainment, Combs has faced a lot of public attention, not just for his music, but also for legal troubles. Now, as new legal issues arise, what impact will they have on his legacy? Let's explore the latest chapter in Sean Combs' eventful life. Sean Love Combs, originally named Sean John Combs, was born on November 4, 1969, in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City. Tragically, his father was murdered in 1974, a pivotal event that deeply influenced his upbringing. Raised by his devoted mother, Combs spent his formative years in Mount Vernon, New York, where he attended a Catholic boys' school in the Bronx. It was during his time in high school that he gained the nickname Puffy, attributed to his habit of puffing out his chest to appear bigger, a moniker that stuck with him through various stages of his life. In 2021, he would go on to legally add Love as his middle name, reflecting a personal evolution in his identity. Combs pursued higher education at Howard University, where he majored in business administration. While a student, he not only focused on his studies, but also engaged in entrepreneurial activities, organizing weekly dance parties and operating an airport shuttle service. However, his academic journey was interrupted when he decided to leave Howard to take up an internship at Uptown Records in New York City. This decision marked the beginning of his meteoric rise in the music industry. At Uptown Records, Combs quickly ascended from an intern to a talent director and eventually to the vice president of the company. Despite his rapid rise, he left Uptown Records in the early 1990s to establish his own production company, Bad Boy Entertainment. Bad Boy Entertainment quickly became a powerhouse in the music industry under Combs' leadership, working with an array of upcoming and established rap, hip-hop, and R&B recording artists such as Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, and Biggie Smalls. By 1996, Combs was recognized as ASCAP's Songwriter of the Year. And by 1997, Bad Boy Entertainment had sold nearly $100 million in recordings. This success led to a multi-million dollar deal with Arista Records for management of the label. The tragic murder of his friend Biggie Smalls in 1997 profoundly affected Combs. In response, he recorded the tribute, I'll Be Missing You, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for 11 weeks and catapulted his first album, No Way Out, to platinum status. The album was named the third best-selling LP of 1997 and won Grammys for Best Rap Performance by a Duo or Group and Best Rap Album, solidifying Combs' status in the music industry. December 1999 brought turmoil when Combs and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez were involved in a shooting at a New York City nightclub, which resulted in three people being injured. Days of deliberations, the jury now appears to be focusing on the gun possession and bribery charges against Sean Puffy Combs. Accused of attempting to have his driver claim ownership of the found weapon. His trial began in January 2001, and by March 16, 2001, Combs was acquitted of all charges. Over the years, Combs has been romantically linked to several high-profile figures, including fashion stylist Misa Hilton, model Kim Porter, and singer Cassie Ventura. We know sometimes those relationships get ugly, you know, and sometimes it doesn't come out into the forefront. He has never married, despite his numerous relationships. His most recent public relationship was with rapper Young Miami of City Girl, with whom he had an open relationship before attending the 2023 Met Gala as friends. In late 2023, Combs faced multiple legal challenges as several women filed lawsuits against him, alleging sexual assault and harassment. 
These allegations culminated in a notable case brought by his ex-girlfriend Cassie, who accused him of physical abuse and rape, seeking unspecified damages. The lawsuit was settled amicably. I keep everything right here. There you go. Or right here. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. However, in May 2024, a security video surfaced showing Combs assaulting Cassie in a Los Angeles hotel in 2016, which led to his public apology on Instagram for his actions depicted in the footage. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. The legal issues continued to mount for Combs in 2024. Shortly after settling with Cassie, he faced new allegations from two women who claimed he assaulted them in the early 1990s. Another lawsuit filed in December accused Combs of misconduct in 2003, which he strongly denied. Producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones and former Danity Kane member Don Richard also filed lawsuits against Combs for harassment and assault. These legal challenges had significant ramifications for Combs's career. He resigned as chair of his TV network, Revolt, and a planned Hulu reality series featuring him and his family was canceled. In March 2024, the Department of Homeland Security conducted searches of Combs's homes in Los Angeles and Miami as part of a federal sex trafficking investigation. Though it was unclear if Combs was the direct target of the probe, the searches garnered intense media attention. Combs' attorney criticized the raids as a biased witch hunt spurred by unfounded civil allegations. By September 2024, federal authorities charged Combs in New York City with multiple offenses, including sex trafficking, forced labor, and assault. He pleaded not guilty and is currently detained pending trial. These events marked a significant turn in the life of a mogul who once topped charts and business ventures across the entertainment industry, now facing profound legal and personal challenges.